Hey everyone, I'm Aliana, and welcome back to my channel. People who learn UX design through online boot camps or certificate courses often make one common mistake: that is not having good enough visual presentation in their portfolio. Today, I put together some resources to fix this visual design presentation issue, and I'd like to call it a case study makeover. There are four steps to this case study makeover: update the design system, update some design components, fix alignments. And create design presentation. I'm using Figma for today. The first thing we are going to do is to improve the design system. Now, usually a design system means the single source of truth which groups all the elements that will allow the teams to design, realize, and develop a product. But today, what I really mean is to redesign our visual style of the project to choose a better set of fonts and colors. So this is a project that I came up with for this video, and it's called Declutter. Now, usually when we are new designer, it's difficult for us to choose a great set of color. So instead of just randomly choosing a color, I recommend you guys to use the Google Material Design Color Tool. The link is in the description of the video. As soon as you pick one color, it will design a set of color for you: one for primary, one for light, and one for dark. And my app is a declutter app, so I think the theme can be a green color. When you choose the color, also don't forget to check the accessibility page、uh, to see whether it's eligible for black text and white text. My color is not eligible for white text, but that's okay.、Um, so all my text then will always be black. Now let's copy the code here. The primary code will be the primary color of my app. So, for example, I can change the color here. If you change color component by component, it might take a while for you to copy all the code, especially if the project is is a larger project. So, in that case, what we need to do is click these four dots, and then click this add icon, and name it primary green. Create style. Now I am just setting the primary color to green. So whenever I change another component, I don't have to type the code again. I just need to click this four icon and then choose the primary green. If I click all these, I'm pressing Shift to select multiple boxes, making that to the primary green.、Uh, you see, there's also like four boxes here. I think these will be better if I filled in with a color. Let's fill it with the primary green. And finally, there's this box on the bottom. I'm going to fill it with the primary green. For the title, I'm going to use that dark color. So I'm just going to copy the dark color here and change one of the title and name it dark green. Perfect. For the rest of the title, I'm also going to fill it with the Dark green. Now, other than that, what is left is the black text. Remember how this page shows that we can actually make it minimum forty-five percent opacity regarding the black text. In order to make everything don't look extremely strong, what I'm going to do is to decrease the opacity of all the black text and set them to around ninety-five. Oh wow, what's happening here? So you can see there's multiple colors right now. Just going to change the other color also to black, and make it 95% opacity. I don't think you can tell that much, but it really helps to soften the strong visual. And I'm going to add this also to here, black text. Okay. So other than that, I'm going to select everything and use the black text. Now the major color is set. Let's also change the font. If you are a new designer, I really recommend you to use a sans serif font instead of a serif font. So a sans serif font is something that looks more modern. Right now, everything is in Times New Roman, and that is not really what people use these days for an app. And for today, I'm going to use a font called Inter. Starting from the body text, use Inter. And adjust the size. Then this will be either heading two or heading three. I'm also going to use enter. And sixteen looks good. 
So what I'm going to do now is to set this also into the design system. Name it body. Name this temporarily as header two. So I will change this to body. Change this to header two. This will be, I guess, a heading one. Set it separately to 20 size, that's great. Enter, and I'm going to use medium just to form a little bit contract. Set this to header one. Finally, I'm going to change the logo font. For now, I'm just gonna go with enter again. And I will use a thin, not thin, this is too thin. A light, yeah, a light one, uh, just to make it minimalistic. So text, and another one, logo. Change everything back. And that's it for the design system. Before we move on, please check out Loom. If you work in the tech industry but you hate attending meetings, Loom may save your life. And it's also free. As a UX designer, I communicate with PMs and software engineers all the time. But design reviews through online meetings just take up too much time and energy, and no one enjoys watching a meeting recording. With Loom, you can do your design review without setting up any online meeting. All you need to do is install the Loom's Chrome extension, click the Loom icon, and start recording yourself and your screen. Or else, you can also go to the Loom's website, click new video, and then start recording. Once you're done with recording, you can also easily cut out the unwanted parts. Hey Elizabeth, I made the design change you asked me to do last time, even though I think it's completely useless. To share your recording, simply copy the link. It's super easy. So use the link in the description and start using Loom with 14 million other users today. For free! Now back to the video. For the second step, we're going to change the design components. Design components include icon, plate holder images, all those good stuffs. On the home page, we can see that the placeholder for this little profile picture is empty. And let's fix this problem. Let's go to Figma community page and then type in Figma avatar. And right here, we can use other people's resources by clicking duplicate. And for my app, the theme is in green, so I'm going to copy something along the same line. I'm going to copy this girl and go back to my design file right here. Right here. Perfect. Now, other than that, I also have emojis in these little boxes. Right now, these little boxes have a drop shadow a stroke and usually we don't use those two so let's select all of these let's get rid of the stroke let's get rid of the drop shadow instead of that let's just add a little bit of curve to the corner um, other than that I also have emojis now when you use emojis in your profile please check out emojipedia and then paste in high quality emoji here you can see that the emoji is already in high resolution, so we don't have to change them. However, here I have three really sketchy placeholders that I made myself. So let's go to Figma community file again, and then type in icon. There's material design icons from Google. There's all sorts of icons that you can use. Uh, for today, let's just check out any of these. Please make sure that you have everything you need from the same style. So I'm trying to make sure there's a home icon and there's a little human icon. Uh, there's also an add icon. Now let's copy everything to our own design file. Here's the add icon. I'm also going to change the color sometimes. I'm going to select it one by one, black. All right, and definitely get rid of my old ones. Now, if the bottom bar is only three icon, what I can do is I can make it a floating 
little modern design, get rid of the stroke, reduce the width, okay, increase the corner to 30, 230, 50, at the bottom of the page, kind of floating, and then three icons in the middle. It's a little bit too thin, so I'm going to increase the height again. And right now, there's no strong hierarchy in the page because this is supposed to float on the page. So in order to add a floating look, I'm going to copy this, move it to the right a little bit, to the down a little bit, and use the dark green color effects and change the effects to layer blur and, and increase the layer blur to something like 20 and move that beneath the layer. If it's too strong, I can either reduce the blur, nope, or I can unlink this and reduce the opacity. Now usually in your design, what you can also do is to replace all the images by high resolution images from Unsplash or Google, Google Images. Just make sure it's high resolution. Now let's move to our third step, which is fixing the alignments. So usually what I will do first is to go on Figma community file again and search iOS or you can search whatever the device you like the most. So I'm just going to use this Figma iOS UI design kit by duplicating it. And all I will use is the header, just to make things a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to add this to every single page first, and then let's fix the alignment. First of all, let's make sure whatever needs to be centered, it's centered. So the way to do that is to click this icon. Once you click it, it is definitely centered. You see, it's moving to the center. Let's make sure the components that replicate is in the same location. I usually just delete the component first and then copy it from one page to the second page, then to the third place. Then it's definitely going to be aligned. This needs to be aligned. I usually move it until the red line shows up and then I will copy it, delete this one, paste to here. Perfect. Uh, the header is all done. Now let's see our boxes. So boxes all needs to be aligned. We can align them by using this, align verticals to centers, and again, align by this, and then align it by this, and align by this, or whatever method works, just make sure they're aligned, and the gap to the left and the gap to the right should be the same. Now, when it comes to the components within the boxes, they also need to be aligned in exactly the same in different boxes. So you can see the gap is nine right now. I usually like better number like 10. So I will make sure the gap between these two is 10. And then I will align to the left like this. And I will move this until some red lines show up, which means I've aligned these two components to the center. And then I will move the 13 to align with the close. Now, remember the gap is 10. So I will fix that for this two as well, 10 left aligned and then move to the center and align to the top one right here as well as the five okay perfect now all the boxes are fixed for whatever is here the close should align with the today and this should align with the top And this two should also be aligned. Let's align it to the center for now. And fix everything based on whatever we designed previously. This is really satisfying if you have OCD, but it can also drive you crazy. All right, the home page is kind of done. So let's see this page. This is need to be aligned. This needs to be centered. We're good. I don't think your design should be as simple as this one because this is literally just three pages within a huge app. 
So it should take longer than what I'm doing here. The last thing we need to do is to create a great design presentation. And that is what will go into your portfolio. Whenever a recruiter sees it, they need to see a really clear and professional visual in order to trust you. What we need to do here is to go to Dribble and get some design inspiration. So whatever you design, you can just search that something along the line. If you did like web design, just search web. If you did mobile, then search mobile. You can see that on Dribble, there's different ways to present your design. And usually it's just two screens, one up, one down, or three screens like this, three like this. So let's do something along the line. I'm going to create another page and call it presentation. Add another artboard. If you know the dimension of your artboard, that would be great. If you don't, I think it's okay. And we need to download all these files. So let's select the artboard Select the export button, use maybe like time three, just to make sure it's super clear. JPG export, once we export it, we can just drag it to our file. My app is in a green color, so I'm going to change the background something along the line. Let's choose, um, let's choose a dark green and let's increase the gap a little bit. So we select everything, increase the gap. 50, center everything, make everything slightly bigger. In order to have that, you know, visual design look, all we need to do is to increase the corner size to something that looks like a phone, like this, and do a little bit of misalignment as if it's intentional, and then I'm going to copy everything, fill it with a color, choose the background color first and then use the color to here to adjust it to something darker what i'm doing here is to add a shadow press shift and right shift and down to move it somewhere uh, like to the right and to the bottom maybe somewhere here add an effect and change the drop shadow effect to layer blur use something around 40 or 30 let's do 40 and move these three layers to the back Ta-da! Now it's looking a little bit more professional. Another thing we can do is go to Figma community file and look for mock-up. There's all sorts of device mock-ups, so you can actually fit your screen into like an iPhone screen to make it more realistic. But sometimes people feel like it's kind of taking the attention away by having too much device detail. Let's see what they have for here. So for this one, we need to follow the step by step. I just installed paste your design here. Okay, it's pasted. Mockup plugin. Oh wow, look at that. Ta-da! And don't forget to export it. So usually I will do something twice the size. And let's also export this version. Now this version just looks a little bit too low key. So now we have a great presentation for our app. Ta-da! I hope this video helps you. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share it with other people. I'm Aliana and see you next time.